this is the easy lock deadbolt. Um, I'm going to get into it and then I'll take it out of the vise and uh, I'll show you some of the features that come on the lock. Right now I have the knob locked so it won't really spin. But So to get in, I'm going to use the 50,000s Peterson pry bar and the top of the keyway. Light tension. And then I'm just going to use my Peterson standard hook in. 25,000s. So going counterclockwise, tension number one binds. I click at a one, two is springy. Gotta click at a three. Gotta click at a four. And I gotta click at a five. And it's open. Um, this has two spools, is what it feels like to me. So there are technically security pins in here, but there's only two spools and everything else felt standard. Um, so this is the outside deadbolt, obviously, but it has this little switch right here where this won't spin. Now if I click that, I can lock it, unlock it. Obviously you'd have to have the key to make it turn like this. Um, The inside portion also has a night latch on it. So if this is in and your door is locked, you see how smooth that spins. But uh, so if this is in and your door is locked and you flip that little switch, it can't be unlocked from the outside at all, not even with the key. It's 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 very well made. I mean, this thing's a tank. It's a beast. But it's just not hard to get into. Um, but yeah, this is a lock that I actually plan on using. I don't know if I can switch the core out or not. I might try. I'll let you know if I can. But it's it's a good lock for the money. I didn't pay a hundred and something dollars for the, for the other one. I just bought the $40 one because it was on sale on Amazon.